Hello and welcome to Back News for Monday the 28th of August. It's a pleasure to be with you today. Here are a list of items we're going to cover today in this brief video. Please make sure to share the video with members of your scouting family. That way they know what's going on here in the Mid-America Council. First up today is a membership moment by Tracy. Tracy, take it away. Hey there everybody, it's Tracy Yost with Northeast Nebraska Scouting for your membership moment. Doesn't everybody like a second chance? That's exactly what we need our families to know when it comes to signing up for scouting adventures. The best time to give everyone that opportunity is immediately after your sign up event. You can do this by promotion of the $20 Mac referral program to your current scouts and new families. Have them sign up online at signupforscouting.org and most definitely invite them to your next fun adventure at your pack level. This could be a meeting with fun activities or even an outing. Don't forget to check out any online leads. You can even have them sign up with an application online with the click of a button. The best referral is your current scouts that are in the program to one or more of their friends. We are also here to help with your membership supply orders if you'd like to order additional invite opportunities for your packs. If you have more great ideas, feel free to share those with us in the comments below. Thanks and see you on the scouting trail. Tracy, thank you for the membership moment, and I hope that these membership moments have been helpful to our Cub Scouting families as you go and recruit new Cub Scouts uh, into the program. Lots of fall activities that are on the Mid-America Council calendar. Check that out at mac-bsa.org. Let me highlight a couple though for you here in Mac News today. It's not too early to go ahead and get on the reservation calendar for the Durham Scout Center to use the Pinewood Derby track here. Instead of having a track brought in and paying those dollars to, to do that in your local elementary school or church, just use the office. It's a low cost. Um, it's all set up. There's a training so you get to run your own race. It's a great way for you to have an awesome experience and right here from the Durham Scout Center. Check out that reservation link below in the uh, description. Also, uh, Northeast Nebraska Weeblows at Arrow of Lights. Don't miss your chance to have a fantastic introduction to Scouts BSA at the Weeblows Woods. For more information, check out the description below for a link to that super event that's coming up this fall. While the air is getting crisp, not too crisp, but it did feel a little like fall this morning when I stepped outside. That means that fall camperees are right around the corner for all of our Scout BSA troops. There are a number of options to choose from. Check out the description below and find a link to our fall camperees that we're offering around the Mid-America Council. And if you've been to camp anytime soon, you've seen construction happening out at Camp Sears and Covered Wagon Scout Reservation for a number of months now. One of those is the Heritage Lodge, which is up on the hill near Equestrian, Cope, and Climbing. And that building is going to be finished mid to late November. And it's the perfect size, 44 bunk beds, 44 beds and 22 bunk beds, uh, six different rooms, so lots of different sleeping options for, for troops of all sizes. We're putting some acoustical panels in that main room so it's not going to be as loud. Um, if you want to hold a winter camp out in that building, to reserve that building, check out the description below and find a link to uh, Heritage Lodge and be able to get that on your calendar now. Saturday, believe it or not, kicked off college football and if you took a few minutes on Saturday to check out the scores, those early games were fantastic. There are a lot of them that were one-sided, but that means football is in the air. And before long, it's going to mean that we're going to have football down in Lincoln in the Husker Stadium. So if you've been to a game and you've seen Scouts Usher and ever wondered, how do I get my Scouts involved? I've got the answer for you. Check out the description below to a link so that you could register your troop to be able to usher at a Nebraska football game this fall. Our partners uh, in scouting down in the Cornhusker Council, the ones that run this um, for the university, they're happy to have scouts from all across um, Iowa and Nebraska come and usher, and then you get to stay and watch the rest of the game, which is fantastic. So sign up, take your troop, go usher for a game, get to watch the Cornhuskers play Memorial Stadium, and have a great experience. More information in the description below. <clears throat> if you're interested in being an archery instructor, we have a level one course coming up for that on October 1st. Check out the description below for more information. PAX First Camp is coming up. You don't want to miss out taking your new families out to 
uh, Camp Cedars for this awesome first event where we get to deliver the promise you made during recruiting season. So sign up, use the link in the description below to get those families signed up for first camp. Lots in the video today. Check out the council website, mac-bsa.org for more information. Or you can always send an email to scatter services at mac at scouting.org and we'll be happy to answer those questions um, that you've got and help make fall events a lot smoother for you. Don't forget that when you attend these events or even if you've got your own, snap a picture, put a caption with it, tag the Mid-America Council when you put that on social media so we can give you a shout out here on Mac News on a weekly basis. And I've got two shout outs today. Shout out to Pack 492 for tagging us in their pictures of their scouts participating in the Millard's Day Parade. Uh, this past weekend, these awesome pictures. Thanks, 492, for participating and for tagging the Mid-America Council in your post. And a big shout out to Pack 308 for tagging us in pictures of scouts helping harvest potatoes, carrots, beans, and cucumbers. Look at the harvest that they help um, pick and uh, provide. Thank you so much for providing those um, pictures and for tagging us in your social media posts. I do look forward to highlighting more units in the weeks to come. Volunteers, thanks for what you do to make scouting possible here in the Mid-America Council. I look forward to seeing you along the scouting trail.